Olympic hoopla, Tibetan protest, and a treasure in natural resources, next on Global Pulse. Broadcasters worldwide covered China's launch of the year-long wind-up to the 2008 Olympics. But Iran's Arabic news service, Al Alam, reported on a different type of commemoration of the day, a massive protest of Tibetans living in India, demanding Tibet's freedom from Chinese rule. China forcibly took over Tibet in 1950. In 2006, China inaugurated a train line to Tibet. The Tibet Autonomous Region has seen its foreign trade rise by 75% to reach 322 million US dollars since the opening of the Qinghai Tibet Railway. The railway is the first rail link between Tibet and the rest of China. Experts say the railway has helped reduce high transportation costs, boosting the flow of commodities between China and South Asian nations and regions. But according to Al Jazeera English, the train will do more than carry tourists. The new train line that links Tibet to the rest of China is bringing in freight as well as tourists. This place is likely to change Lhasa and the whole of Tibet immeasurably. It's the new freight station and construction materials like this used to be trucked across the Himalayas in a process that took weeks. Now they can get here in less than 48 hours. The Chinese name for Tibet translates to mean Western treasure basket. The treasure includes over $54 billion worth of timber already extracted by China, as well as gold, coal, and uranium. This internet posting by Sinopec, China's state-run oil exploration company, says, the buildup of the Tibet Railway has made it a lot easier to transport equipment and other necessary exploration resources to the region. The building boom has reached even this remote corner of the Chinese empire. But if you look at the workers, many are Han Chinese, not Tibetan. And the businesses that are opening are not homegrown. Tibetans are losing out, and some say the Chinese government investment is just a subtle form of control. They're using the Olympics to showcase happy Tibetan as an ethnic minority of China where they're benefiting and prospering under Chinese rule and it's simply not true. And that does a great disservice to the cause of you know, Tibetan freedom and human rights uh, for the Tibetan people. In the U.S., coverage of Tibet is mostly local, like this report on San Francisco's KTSF. Are we calling for the Chinese government to respect the Tibetan people's fundamental rights to determine the future. As the Chinese Olympics approach, Tibet is being changed from this to this. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world.